Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel Biodiversity and Conservation. I am Swalakshmi Rao from Bia Prashant Research Foundation, India. And today we are going to discuss about different research designs and basic principles of experimental designs. So let's start. So there are different research designs that can be used to perform any research and they are conveniently uh, categorized into three types. Uh, first one is uh, research design in case of exploratory research studies. Next is uh, research design in case of descriptive and uh, diagnostic research studies. And third one is research design in case of hypothesis, hypothesis testing research studies. So let's study one by one. Like first one, uh, research design in case of exploratory research studies, they are different from others. And uh, it is also termed as uh, formulative research studies. And because when we explore any research, we generally have the tendency to formulate uh, the research um, in a way that so we can go through all the components that are required in the research and design in such a way that we can get to a problem easily. So the main purpose of uh, this type of study is of uh, formulating a, pro a problem more precisely and uh, this can be done by investigating all the um, working hypothesis from the statistical point of view means after analysis we can uh, derive out the main purpose of the study and uh, uh, the major emphasis is uh, given on the ideas and insights their discovery and uh, the research design appropriate for this type of study must be flexible um for so that we we can consider different uh, types of uh, different aspects of the problem under study and uh, the flexibility that is uh, found in this type of research design it uh, may change during the research procedure uh, so that we can uh, gather the required data that we uh, that are needed uh, in case of the research and uh, generally there are three methods in this contest of uh, research design like the survey of concerning literature the experience survey and the analysis of insight stimulating examples so in case of the survey of concerning literature uh, it is the most simple and fruitful method of formulating uh, the research problem or developing any hypothesis because um, from the um, previously um, recorded data we can uh, go through all the data and uh, survey it uh, to find the gaps that are there in the research and uh, we can design a research in such a way that we can fill those gaps and um, give new solutions to um, a already present pro problem or a, with new solution to a new problem also. Next is experience survey. Here the survey of people who have uh, experience about uh, the given research subject, uh, they are uh, um, either interviewed or uh, normally are discussed with them about the research problem and we can gather the data from them. That type of res uh, research is uh, uh, based on the experience survey. Next is uh, analysis of insight stimulating examples. 
it is also a method for uh, uh, suggesting a hypothesis of a research and uh, it is particularly suitable in areas where there is a uh, little experience to serve as a guide means the guide or you don't have enough uh, information or the guide doesn't have any information about that type of uh, topic there we can use this type of method and uh, next is research design in case of descriptive and diagnostic research, uh, research studies so here uh, the uh, research is based on describing the characters of the um, problem or uh, of the particular individual facing problem or a group and in case of diagnostic research we have to determine the um, frequency with which a problem occurs uh, with the individual or group and uh, they both uh, share the same um, design that is formulating the objective of the study then designing the methods of data collection then selecting the sample then collecting the data and processing and analyzing the data after that reporting the findings so this is the procedure that follows here next is research design in case of hypothesis testing research studies so here um, the hypothesis testing is uh, uh, done when the researcher tests any uh, hypothesis that he or she have uh, thought about and uh, experiments uh, it between various uh, variables and uh, proves whether the hypothesis is true or wrong and uh, uh, such studies require uh, the procedure that will not that will not only reduce the bias and increase reliability but will also permit to draw the conclusions uh, about the problem and um, usually this type of uh, problems we get the solution fast next is the basic principles of experimental designs so Professor R. F. Fisher, he uh, gave us three principles of experimental design. Uh, those are principle of replication, principle of uh, randomization, and principle of uh, local control. So according to the principle of uh, replication, um, the experiment should be repeated more than once and uh, after repetition of the experiment um, and after adding um, the variables and treating the experiment we will uh, get the data which will be statistically accurate um, if the experiments are increased and then next is the principle of randomization where uh, the principle actually indicates that it should uh, plan experiment in such a way that the variations that are caused by um, extraneous factors that are uh, different from independent and de dependent variables that are not included in the experiment uh, that can be uh, combined with the general heading and by chance we will get the uh, result and uh, through this uh, we can have uh, um, a result without with little experimental error next is uh, the principle of uh, local control here uh, it is actually known as the source of variability and uh, uh, it is made to vary the deliberate uh, mistake or uh, deliberate uh, procedure over a um, wide range and uh, uh, this means that we should plan the experiment in such a manner that uh, we can perform um, minimum two way variance and uh, here uh, there will be three types of data that will be collected 
and uh, among them experimental error will be one and we can eliminate that to get the particular data and conclusion so this is all from me today thanks for watching